Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, my channel. It is me in my living room because I am tired and I just want to sit down and my room's dark because my light is terrible. Anyways, today, if you read the title, which generally most people do or you kind of tell by the thumbnail, we are going to be doing a grad dress lookbook to celebrate grad season. That's like June, May, June-ish. Lots of people grad then. I graded in June. My one year will be coming up soon. I believe it was the 16th or 17th. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, so I'm not going to blab too much because, you know, we just want to stare at pretty dresses. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so first off, I needed to get the dresses. How I was going to do that, I wasn't too sure yet because I had a lot of stuff in my closet. But I finally figured out how to do it if I jumped over my bed and yeah it was a little bit of a process but I was able to collect all the dresses one by one though it took a little while but we got the dresses out and that's the main goal so that was good step one was accomplished Dee. however when I was looking through all my dresses I figured out that I was missing a few that I had downstairs that I was going to be editing so I decided to go get those guys downstairs as well. Ignore, please ignore my sewing section, it's a mess right now. Uh, lots of craft stuff, lots of cosplay stuff, so I just need to clean it up. But yeah, so I went and got those dresses there and then I realized that I should have just left them on the main floor because that's where I was going to do it anyways, so this is me just getting all the dresses and bringing them to the main floor. And of course, after I got them all down to the main floor, we're gonna get right into the actual lookbook. Dee. So the first dress I have, I got from like the bay, and I actually bought this dress for like a winter party for like work, and I got matching heels for it. Also, can you tell I haven't walked in heels in forever? Yeah, or at least stilettos. It's a really sweet dress though. Um, I feel like it could be grady. I'm starting off with like the less grad-like dresses, Anyways, I still really like it. It's really pretty. It's got silver sparkles. I decided to pair it with accessories from Claire's and I know before anyone comments on it, I know you could see my yellow hair in the wig. I just, yep, I just did a quick like miniature grad hairstyle. If I had normal hair that length, it would look fine. But yeah, this is the first dress and I really like it and matching shoes from like Payless. So that was awesome. And yeah, just a nice dress. I really love it. So yeah, it's just good. This next one I actually found at a thrift store and the reason I bought it was because if you can tell, the skirt is really, really big and there's a lot of fabric and I just wanted to kind of cut it up and make something out of it. If you saw my last lookbook, the pink floor, yeah, I was standing on this dress. I pushed it up against the curtains that I was balancing on the door and my bookshelf. But yeah, it's a nice dress. It's very flowy. You could wear it as a grad dress. It's got this like little bird moon like shape there. I don't know. I think it's pretty. It's sparkly. It's a cute dress, but I'm gonna cut it up. That's why it was downstairs. So woohoo! Very pretty dress. This white dress actually was my winter grad dress and I got it at Grad Central and oh my gosh, it was the last one, I think it was on one of their mannequins and I didn't see it hanging up when I was there to help a friend pick out her dress and I decided, hey, can I try that on? And then I tried it on and it fit like a glove, like I had no alterations, it fits me perfectly. And oh my gosh, one of my favorite dresses that I own. The top part around my neck does end up scraping my neck if I wear it for more than a while. So my neck does get a little red after a while because it is like hard beating. But the open back is so beautiful and it's just such a wintry, beautiful masterpiece. I love it to pieces. It's so sweet. I did have my hair up when I was wearing this. Maybe I'll like put a picture up beside here. I probably will. So you can see what I actually looked like for my grad. Because, yeah, I love this grad dress. It's it's beautiful and very pretty. So, hee hee hee. 
Wow, look at that. Another blue one. This one I got for a Cinderella cosplay that I was going to do. Again, it's going to be going back down to my sewing room. I liked the fabric on it, so I'm thinking of doing some alterations to it. But yeah, it's just really pretty. I got it from a thrift store. I get lots of these from thrift stores, and these ball gowns are pretty cheap. I don't tend to go for the expensive ones. I want to say this one was like 20 maybe? Probably cheaper. Anyways, I just thought it was super cute, and I'm thinking I'm going to add poofy sleeves and more tulle, but I'm not too sure yet. It is a bit big, so I do have to yank it up, but I don't mind, because it's still really pretty, and I love it. So, yeah, that's this guy. My apologies on the lighting for this one because it is a black dress. It didn't want a lighting properly and I couldn't really help it. I tried so hard, but this dress I got from Shades of White near Uptown. It is custom fit to my exact size, so it fits me perfectly. I actually didn't end up wearing this dress. I was going to get it for my winter grad, but then I didn't end up wearing it. But it's such a beautiful dress and like the belt along the waist is absolutely stunning. It's so simple and elegant and I love the heart shape like neckline there. It's absolutely stunning. I need to get a bustle and I still need to get it tailored because I didn't end up wearing it and it's just been sitting in my closet since I bought it. It also came with like a shawl thing that I don't really know how to wear but here's me attempting to wear it. I think it's supposed to go over both shoulders. I'm not really sure but Anyways, it comes with it. It's just a stunning dress, and I hope I will get a chance to wear it eventually. Maybe I'll just go on a hecky, super fancy date, maybe. I don't know. I'm single. I'll just go out with my friends and have a ball gown day or something. But it's really pretty, and I love it. But yeah, I have to, like, pick it up because the train's dragging on the ground, but it's really pretty, and I love it. I know what you're thinking. Jade, is that a wedding dress? Well, my answer to that would be yes it is. This is a wedding dress that I found at Value Village last year, I think? And the reason I got it, I think it was like 50 bucks. Um, one, it fit me perfectly and I was like, well I can't pass this up, I like pretty things. And two, is I was thinking of adding giant poofy sleeves, or giant poofy like shoulder part of the sleeves, and then like fitted arm sleeves and turning it into Ariel's wedding dress for a cosplay that I really had been wanting to do for a while. Because the beading on the front, if you can see, there's a little bit of pink and silver and I just thought it was really beautiful and my friend insisted that I get it, so I did and it makes, it hugs my shape just perfectly and the princess cut and like, ah, everything about this dress, I just love it so much. I didn't want to take this one off because it's just so pretty and flowy. Oh, I love it so much. I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> me goofing around because I pretended to be Ariel. Yep. And yeah, that's me being a goofball, just, you know, enjoying it. The very pretty dress. I love it. Could be a grad dress. This next one I also found at a thrift store. And this one is like some sort of, I don't know, it's like a satin with some tulle underneath and black flowers. I actually had a cosplay in mind for this one, but I couldn't exactly figure it out. But I don't know. I just like it. I feel like I'm going to do something with it, but I'm not too sure yet. I might give it away to like one of those grad dress donation things because it is still a really, really beautiful dress. It's just, you know, it's not something I would wear every day. It was for cosplay, so not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's absolutely beautiful and, uh, again, just a stunning dress. It is the straight across neckline. It's got some sort of, like, design here, ruffles. I like it. I thought it was cool. So I snatched it up from their store. It was, like, 20 bucks. Why not, right? I also wanted to go to a masquerade ball with a friend, so I ended up purchasing this mask that we never ended up going to, but I thought it was really funny, and I still have the mask. 
and ah, so sweet. That mask was from Charm and Charlie's, but they closed down and that makes me so sad because they were like one of my favorite stores to get weird bags and like tiaras from. But oh well, I have Claire's and Claire's is awesome, so I really like this dress though. Hee hee. Alright, this dress was like a gem that I found at a thrift store. Shocker, are we shocked that I found it at a thrift store? It originally came with some sort of weird flower thing hanging from the side. It was like clipped on. I'm assuming this was a dress that was actually made like at home as a home project because you can kind of tell from looking at it very closely that there's certain parts that were DIY'd or if this wasn't a dress that was made at home, it was a dress that was taken and then altered a fair amount. But I love, love, love the colors. The blue and the pinks together are absolutely stunning. And the beading, oh, I can't. It's just, it's so beautiful. It again hugs my curves perfectly. A dress that fit me, like, right when I tried it on. It's absolutely stunning. I love it so much. The beading, I feel, is like what really sold me. This beading, the flower beading right across there. It's so beautiful, and like, it is like a bubblegum pink with like a sky blue. It is, the dress is absolutely stunning, and I feel like such a princess in it. And apparently a goof. <laughs> oh, it's fun to watch these when playing back. Also, I apologize, I look tired as heck, but I'm not. I swear it's just the lighting. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> And last but not least, this was my actual grad dress. I wore this to my grad and I love this dress so much. I got this dress, this dress from Grad Central the previous year. So I went the year before I graduated and got it on sale. It was like originally a grand, but I think I got it for like 200 bucks, which was awesome. It has the open back concept. I just love that because I think the backs are beautiful and like an elegant part of the body. Is that weird? I don't think so. Anyways, it's just a stunning, stunning dress when I got it. The, some of the beads were kind of falling off, so I did have to sew the beads kind of in place and all that, but oh my gosh, the beading is absolutely stunning. And I'm sorry, it looks a little peach in this. It's actually a very beautiful, like, pastel pink, and uh, it's absolutely stunning. But the beading, oh my gosh, it's so, so, so beautiful, and it's like... I love it so much. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with my grad dress. My idea was, because there's so much like tulle and all that on the bottom, was I going to turn the bottom part, I think, into like a cape with like faux fur around the edges and make like a really cool cape, but I'm not exactly sure yet, so yeah. Alright, so that is all of my dresses. I really enjoyed making this video. You guys were so sweet on my last lookbook and I got so many freaking sweet comments and I love to read each and every single one of them because it just makes me so happy that you guys enjoyed it. So I definitely want to do more lookbooks. I apologize the lighting for this one wasn't that good but like I filmed it right over there. I had to pull the table out and it was a big mess. I wanted to film it outside but the sun wasn't cooperating and there was a spider's nest, so I didn't want to go near that with my dresses. But I promise next time the lighting will be better and I want to get a friend to help me with it and see how that works. Because last time I did it up in my room and that was a time. But yes, thank you all for the sweet, sweet comments on the last lookbook. And I hope you like this one too. So... Yay! Alright guys, that is all I have for you today. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!